Well, hello everybody and welcome in. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for March 15 through 21, 2021. And this is for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. As always, this is a general and intuitive reading, not a one-on-one. -on -one. Therefore, not all the messages that come out will be for all of you. Just take the parts that resonate with your situation and leave the rest behind. So if you are new to my channel, welcome in. And if you are returning, welcome back. And I truly do appreciate all of your likes, shares, subscribes, your comments, and your beautiful energy. So let's see where we go here. Messages for Aries, please. What do we need to know for the week ahead? Messages for Aries. All right. And we have cleaning house. All right, number 37 breaks down into a 10. All right, 10s are endings, leading ways to new beginnings. So I'm just going to pull out another card for you here, and then I'll just go a little deeper into those messages for, wow, okay. <laughs> and there we go. So what do we have here? Oh, look at that. Seeking some knowledge and some wisdom. Gotta love that one. All right. That is, uh, you know, doing your research, looking for some facts. So go into this one first. So first off, cleaning house. The literal message, okay, is to clean up. Okay. Uh, this might be a time it's, uh, we're heading into spring. Okay. Perfect time for spring cleaning. All right. And, you know, spirit does say here and, uh, that sometimes not only do you need to, um, sometimes in order to get yourself feeling fresh, energized, um, grounded again, sometimes you need to do some spring cleaning. Now this can be in the literal phys physical sense of the word, right? With your house, get rid of things that you um, no longer use anymore that are just taking up space, taking up room, uh, you know, maybe get together with a few neighbors and do like a dump run or something like that. Um, you know, donate some things to charity, whatever it happens to be. Um, you know, uh, uh, cause sometimes when we are surrounded by a bunch of junk and clutter, we can feel a little bit scattered ourselves. All right. Um, with this energy spirit also says, uh, clean up your mind as well. Let things go that aren't working for you. You might need to clean up some relationships that you've outgrown, uh, a job perhaps that you have outgrown that's not working for you anymore, um, whatever area of your life, right? So clean up, clean your house, get rid of any kind of stagnation, anything collecting dust bunnies, uh, anything that is preventing you from moving forward, you're, you're constantly evolving. And, uh, you know, sometimes when we do that, especially if we're doing any kind of spiritual, spiritual growth or awakening, sometimes what worked for us a year ago doesn't work for us now. Okay. So don't be afraid to, uh, clean up, uh, clean up around you, your energies, your people, places, things, you name it. Okay. Your thoughts as well. And we have another card number 10. Okay. So 37 breaks down into a 10 and this is a 10. Okay. So you are looking forward to new beginnings. Tens are endings that bring about new beginnings. And this is all about knowledge, research, um, gathering information, facts. Now this can literally mean for some of you that you are, uh, currently in school or you are thinking of going back to school to improve your current situation. Of course, we can go back to school at any time in our life and you're never too old to follow your dream. Um, you know, sometimes when we're, you know, younger, we get pulled in all different directions just because we might not have the, the self-confidence to dance to the beat of our own drum or do what we really want. Or we might get, you know, in a situation where the priority is, you know, uh, getting married, starting a family. All right. And now you know, for some, you might be at the age where, you know, your kids are pretty self-sufficient and now you're like, no, you know what? It's my turn. I'm going to follow my dreams. Now I'm going to improve my situation. I'm going to follow my heart. Um, others there, you're, uh, perhaps taking some courses on the side, um, something so that you can improve your current work situation, get that promotion, that raise something you want to leg up on your competition. Okay. 
but whatever it is that you're doing, you're working on, you're really doing some research and you're looking at the cold, hard facts, right? You could be working on any kind of work project or situation that may send you, you know, to the library, uh, perhaps, or, you know, really deep doing some sort of, um, uh, strategizing and some planning and gathering of information to, um, you know, to, uh, complete something or start a brand new project. Okay. So whatever it is, there's some learning and, uh, strategy involved in what you're doing. So let's see what we have coming out with your tarot. And that, um, that knowledge energy there that can also be, you know, being prepared is like being forewarned. All right. So, um, you know, you might be working on a legal situation of some sort, um, or some kind of, um, yeah, I'm getting some sort of legal situation that might be, uh, around, it might not be your personal one. You might be helping out someone. All right, but whatever it is, you're gathering, okay, um, the word dirt just pop popped into my mind. You're gathering dirt on somebody. Uh, I think that's kind of specific for somebody, but more, like, more probably to do with a divorce or uh, if you're suing your company that you worked for or something, um, but you're gathering facts, right? Your uh, forewarned is forearmed is what's coming out there as well. So you're making sure that you've got all your ducks in a row. So your current situation, the King of Swords. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that is a uh, <laughs> that is a powerful energy there. That's what you're getting your knowledge, right? You're getting your ducks in a row with that knowledge card. Okay. That King of Swords is a formidable force. What is crossing you? We've got the Page of Cups. What is beneath you? This is your underlying feelings. We've got the Five of Cups. Advice from Spirit, we've got the Four of Cups. What's crowning you? Your goals, thoughts, possibilities, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, there you are. All right. <laughs> Love the fiery energy. And then your outcome position is the Knight of Wands. Look at that. Be bold, be brave, take some action. Energy at the bottom of the deck, underlying energy. Look at that, guys. We have your energy, okay, driving you forward. All right, so... Whatever it is you're doing, there is success, strategy, planning, leadership, all of those energies right underneath you, okay? You're stepping into your own personal power with that energy, uh, sorry, with that emperor card, and you are not going to let anything hold you back, hold you down, and you are not going to fail whatever it is that you are working on right now because that emperor, that is an energy of success, okay? That is your energy, okay? So be bold, be brave, be confident, and conquer, right? No matter what this is. So your current situation, we've got the king of swords for one. Your, uh, your intellectual prowess, okay, is completely on point right now. Now you may be uh, you know, for that knowledge, that knowledge card there. Okay. It feels as though, uh, some of you are absolutely, um, it feels as though you're almost finished your schooling. Okay. If, uh, if that's you going back to school or, com uh, or if you're younger completing your degree, it feels like you're almost done. Okay. Because you're coming out as a king and, um, you know, so for one, you're, you know, again, your, your intellectual thought, your logic, your um, mental processes are completely and utterly on point right now. You have that ability to see the truth of any situation that is in front of you, okay? And you have a thirst for knowledge, okay? A quest for the truth, logic, intellect, and reason. You may be in a leadership position um, at the moment, some sort of leadership role in your workplace, all right? And um, you know, you are leading a team of other people. Okay. And you're, you may also, you know, to be quite honest, uh, you might actually be some sort of trainer and training other people in your workplace. Okay. Cause the King of Swords, the King of Swords can be one hell of a wordsmith, right? Very good with, um, giving presentations, imparting knowledge, um, 
You don't usually get a lot of warm and fuzzies coming out with the King of Swords, although you'd probably be pretty funny um, because the the this energy is one of leading with intellect rather than emotion. Okay, and it's not that the King of Swords doesn't have any emotions. Um, he does, okay, um, but uh, intellect and thought rules the day, okay? So very calm, cool, calculated kind of energy as well, okay? So whatever it is that you're working on here, okay, that new job, that promotion, um, you know, figuring out how to declutter your life in some way, you're just doing so with a calm, clear, intellectual mind, right? You're not getting your emotions you're not letting your emotions get the best of you. And, um, you know, you just, you're full of determination. You know what need you need to do. You know where you're going. And you're not going to let anyone hold you back. Now we have the Page of Cups coming out here. So pages for one, this uh, can have to do with your children, okay? Um, so it feels as though some of you, you might be, one of your children might be giving you, um, a bit of a hard time okay and with them coming out as the page of cups I'm feeling as though I'm feeling as though they may be adolescent I mean if, probably like high school age maybe like between like 12 to 16 kind of ish energy and it feels as though they're very gifted and you're trying to figure out how to deal with them um, because sometimes very gifted children, they feels like they're very creative, very artistic. Um, their emotions are probably, their emotions are probably, uh, getting away from them a little bit at, at this point. Okay. I mean, you know, uh, teenager kind of energy, hormones, emotions, all these kind of things, they can be like totally out of control. Um, but it feels as though this one is, um, a very emotional, uh, a very emotional child and it's because they're very um, because they're very creative and they may also have some spiritual gifts as well okay um, so they they might be they might be uh, a little confused by that energy and that might um, you know if you're trying to deal with them you're trying to you know you're trying to deal with them in a very positive way but there may be a uh, disconnect in understanding okay and you might need to you might need to deal with them in a gentler way, okay? Because that King of Swords energy, of course, that is all the, the intellect, right? But, um, you know, but it feels as though you may need to soften your approach in order to really connect with their energy. Now, of course, this message isn't going to be for everybody, right? So, um, you know, but whoever does have this kind of um, child energy, okay, it feels as though you need to connect with them on a very emotional level um, because one on a, a, a logical and intellectual intellectual one may not work. Now, you might be trying to get them to go to, to um, choose a major or something um, or to figure out what kind of career that they want and they just might not know yet and they might, um, they, they might be just very confused and they might need to explore, um, you know, because it feels as though they might be very artistic uh, they, um, you know, like, like as in art itself. Okay. Um, uh, they might be like dramatic. Okay. They might want to follow the path of being an actor and, uh, you're, you might be like, that's freaking nuts. Okay. You're not doing that with your life. I don't, you know, you need to go to school. Okay. Or, you know, so it feels as though there's some sort of uh, disconnect there with that. Now that page of cups can also be you. Okay. With that king of swords energy, opening yourself up to love. All right. Opening your heart. And it feels as though you've got a lot of successful energy around you, but it feels as though you've been, it feels as though you've been closed off. Okay. So if you're trying to attract, if you're it feels as though there's been some heartbreak and in order to deal with that, you've closed yourself off to the emotional aspects of that. And you've really ruled, uh, your, you know, you've really been ruling yourself and your life with your mind. Okay. You've cut yourself off from your emotions in order. It feels as though more like carpet, uh, compartmentalizing the issue. 
okay? And now you're starting to open yourself up to that a little bit. You're starting to think, well, maybe, okay? Maybe I might be at the point where I might be willing to, you know, date. Um, you don't feel too sure about it, okay? You definitely don't feel too sure about it, but you are starting to open yourself up to that, all right? But whatever this means for you, your creativity is certainly opening. Your heart chakra is opening. Um, some of you may be starting to put yourself out there with that online dating, and you could also be looking for a new career path, perhaps, something that um, gives you an emotional connection, emotional fulfillment, okay? Uh, you might need to go back to school for that or learn some, uh, learn some new skills in order to really follow your dream. This might be something that you abandoned many years ago, perhaps when you were a teenager, a child. This could have been, you know, your parent, okay, telling you that, no, you can't follow your dream. That's stupid. You need to um, make money. You need to follow a career. You'll never make money as an artist. You'll never make money as an actor, okay? And this can be you really connecting with your inner child, going back to what you really wanted and following your passion, following your dream that you, uh, you know, you had a long time ago. So there's some, a lot of different energies coming out with those two cards right there. Now your underlying feelings, okay? So if you are trying to attract anything, it's time to clean house. This five of cups. All right, change your shift. So the five of cups can be about, um, you know, focusing on your disappointments rather than the opportunities that are in front of you. Okay, we have five cups. Two of these ones are filled with wine. Okay, the magical elixir of life. Okay, we've got wine in those two cups and these ones are empty. And she's just sitting on the floor almost in a fetal position. And she's just staring at those, her head in her hands, right? So, but, you know, focused on what has been lost or what has um, not come to pass, perhaps, all right, instead of the opportunities that are right there, shining in the golden, beautiful light, full cups, ready to, um, ready to spill over. So for some, this can be you still focused on lost love, right? Because we do have two cups there and two cups can be harmonious partnerships, right? And so you could be really focused on that. You could be focused on, you know, a career path you didn't follow, you know, your problems with your child, okay? And, you know, the solution is right here, okay? And your solution is deal with them on a emotional level, okay? But you're really focused on what isn't working, okay? So clean up your thoughts, right? That clean house, right? Clean up your thoughts, refocus, regroup, renew, focus on the positive, Okay, feel the feelings that you need to feel for whatever loss um, or difficulties or disappointments that you've had, but then you need to look up, okay? You can't live in that, uh, in that energy of disappointment. And so, you know, while this is your underlying feelings, it's also what can drive you forward, okay? So some people really do get inspired by losses, disappointments, because some people look at that as a challenge, okay? And they can move forward, but... You need to feel your feelings, release and let go, okay, and focus on the new no matter no matter how you deal with challenges because there's the danger here of being stuck in some negative energy and we do not want that. We want you to move towards the light, okay? Always move towards the light and the positivity. And here's the thing, advice from spirit, white right when you're about to give up, okay? And look at this, we've got three empty cups at the bottom. And then right here in that light coming out of that tumultuous cloud, we have a full cup. Okay, so what happens sometimes right when right when we think that there's no solution or no way forward or no opportunity in front of us, spirit brings us what we need and it's up to us to focus on the positive. All right, and that's exactly what spirit wants you to do. So focus on um, focus on the new, focus on what you want to attract, what you want to achieve, what you want to solve. All right. And the opportunity is there for you. Okay. So listen to your intuition, listen to your heart. Okay. Open your heart for some here. All right. Open your heart to look forward, deal with things in a creative way. And that kind of outside the box thinking your heart will always lead the way, no matter what your situation. Okay. So clean up your thoughts here, that cleaning house energy, clean up your thoughts. All right. And focus, refocus. 
Now, this is your crowning position, your goals, thoughts, possibilities. We've got the Queen of Wands. Hell yeah. Okay, about time, right? This is, uh, the queens are the doers of the group. Absolutely. Now, male or female, uh, it's not gender specific. It's all about the energy, right? So this Queen of Wands has that fiery, passionate, uh, inspirational energy. So either... Uh, it feels as though for some, you have an opportunity to that's coming in that allows you to be a leader, be an inspirer to others, um, embrace opportunities. This can be a brand new job opportunity coming your way, um, something that uh, allows you to step into that leadership role that you have, right? And that innate ability that is within you to lead and succeed, all right? And to also... Um, give others inspiration. Now that knowledge card, okay, this can be you stepping into that role where you teach people, okay? And we already had that energy coming out with that King of Swords, while that King of Swords can sometimes be um, a little bit um, dry, <laughs> okay? Um, the Queen of Wands, okay, is very passionate. So it feels as though you're trying to, um, for some, you're trying to combine not just your intellect and logic, but also um, that uh, passion as well, right? It's it's a deadly combination, but in such a positive way. All right. So, um, but you're certainly a leader with both this king and queen energy. Now, some of you, this can be you attracting, uh, thinking about attracting a new love. All right. And you're looking for someone whose um, passion matches yours, whose uh, fiery energy matches yours, right? Because, you know, again, you are that emperor energy and that is full of fire, okay? And it feels as though you need a counterpart, but you also need someone smart and intellectual because it feels as though you might be bored with some same old, same old kind of conversation, right? So you're looking for somebody who, you know, this queen of wands can absolutely be that counterpart to your emperor energy, okay, for sure. And that queen of wands can also be that counterpart to that king of swords, which um, is right at the heart of your reading as well, okay? So whether this is a new love, a new romance, um, improving your current romantic situation, perhaps, right? You may have had um, with this page of cups that might, uh, there may be an apology, okay, for some of you coming along the way, right? You've had some sort of um, some sort of argument with your significant other. You may be in a period of separation at the moment, but it feels as though, um, it feels as though whether you are still together or whether you are in a period of separation, it feels as though there's an apology. Okay. And someone is going to wave that olive branch, right? They want to make amends, make it right. Okay. And that rekindles or renews, um, you know, your connection. Okay, and brings an additional spark to your relationship, okay? And your outcome energy, we have this Knight of Wands. Now, for some, this can be you taking action on that situation, okay? If you're the one that needs to make amends and do something, something chivalrous perhaps, okay? Or something, um, you know, something that is, uh, you know, um, something out of the box, out of the out of the blue, I'm, I'm feeling, not out of the blue, out of the box, something um, unexpected, okay? Because this Knight of Wands is, uh, usually the Knight of Wands is heading uh, forwards, and in this case, you know, he's actually looking at this uh, King of Swords and also at this Page of Cups. So for some, you know, this is taking action, successful action, by the way, on resolving a situation, resolving um, a conflict, okay? Um, an apology, perhaps, this is also, you know, if that's your child, right, it feels as though you're, um, you know, you're being very inventive and also very creative on how to, uh, how to deal with them on a different level than the intellectual one that you've been dealing with them on, okay? And, um, but whatever your situation, this is you taking control, taking lead, all right? Um, finding your passion, your inspiration, moving forward, Okay, um, you're not sitting still. This Knight of Wands is a conquest energy. All right, and the Knight of Wands is kind of an in and out energy. All right, and so I'll just clarify that for a minute because if you're looking for a new love, uh, depends what you're looking for, but if you're looking for a new love, it feels as though, um, you know, a fling, 
okay, that would typically be represented by that Knight of Wands is that uh, fling energy. And sometimes, you know, they can mature, but um, other times not so much. Okay, so and the Eight of Cups and what else do we have here? Thank you. And the Devil, okay. So it feels as though here we have the Nine of Swords, okay? So this Knight of Wands is breaking you free of any fear, anxiety, or doubt that you may have, any kind of hesitation that you might have dealing with your situation, right? You're just taking action, okay? You're going to slay that dragon with that Knight of Wands, all right? So whatever it is, okay, there's success there for you, breaking you free of stagnation, okay, or of fear and anxiety. We have the Eight of Cups, okay? So the Eight of Cups, by taking action, bold, inspired action, tapping into your creative solutions, okay, you are walking away from anything that's not working, a way of thinking, um, a stagnant situation, okay? This is you changing your outlook on your life, right? Leaving the disappointments behind and focused on the new, focused on the renewed for some, okay? And focused on that golden opportunity, okay? That, um, that inspiration that moves you forward, all right? And we do have the devil coming out here as well, Okay, so, um, you know, so with this energy that I'm picking up, yes, sometimes that Knight of Wands and that Devil energy can really match each other. Okay, but what this feels like to me, since this is clarifier, um, this feels to me as though you're breaking free, okay, of any kind of toxic situation, any negativity, any um, uh, previous patterns, right, with this Four and Five of Cups here breaking you free of any previous patterns that held you back, held you down. Okay. So that, uh, that Knight of wands energy there, that is that success. Okay. Breaking you free of all of this stagnation and negativity or, you know, repeating negative set negative cycles that are holding you back and keeping you from your success. Okay, so whatever it is that you're working on here, okay, um, there is a lot of success there. So tap into your emotions, okay, clean up whatever you need to clean up. And this eight, this eight of uh, eight of cups and this nine of swords energy for sure. Well, also with this devil, okay, this is you're cleaning all this up, okay. You're not taking this forward with you. You're not taking anything um, with you that isn't going to work for your future. Okay, and you know, um, you're releasing the negativity, and you're embracing the positivity, and you're moving forward. Okay, so successful conversations, opening yourself up. All right, and you know, sit in your own personal power with that and with that emperor energy. Okay, you know what to do, you know how to deal with situations. Okay, but you just might need to soften your heart a little bit. Okay, for some of you there. So I'm going to leave that there because I really do like that success energy coming out, that Knight of Wands. All right. And let's just close out your reading with a couple of Starseed cards here. One last message for Aries, please. What else do we need to know? Okay. Ooh, and I got two that stuck to me. We have Magnificence. Magnificence, yes. You are amazing, magnificent, and unique, but most importantly, you are enough, all right? Absolutely, yes, you are. And then we have Starseed, raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant, loving light, all right? Gotta love that. I actually feel as though this Starseed energy, I feel that this is connected to whoever has a child with some spiritual gifts, okay? Um, they take a, uh, different level of understanding. Okay. And you might need to be very gentle with them or find them a mentor perhaps. Okay. It's nothing to be afraid of. Um, but it feels as though their gifts are very, very strong. All right. So I'm going to get one. Thank you more. <laughs> okay. And we have blue star. Follow the light of your inner compass, the blue star. It will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul. Okay, beautiful energies coming out there. So I'm going to leave all that there for you. So hopefully there was some messages here that helped you 
uh, along your way for the week, gave you some guidance or some inspiration. If so, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know how things are working out for you. And uh, I hope you have the most fabulous week ahead and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.